So this video is going to be DIY fall decorations. Um, you can see I have some in the back and yeah, I'm holding the camera, I'm not filming on anything so it's a little shaky. Um, so just ideas and room decor and where you can get it and all of that jazz will be in this video so keep watching. And I'd like to shout out Abby Fitzgerald, Charlotte Isidore, Kiki Schaefer and anyone else that asked me for when I was in a group convo on my phone, they're like, can you shout me out? I was like, sure, why not? So anyone else, I love you all and um, yeah, just enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing I did was get some leaf garland and I hung it between my wall and my desk over my vanity makeup section. I did show this in a haul from Walmart and I just think it looks really fall. Next, I wanted to dress up this area because it was looking super boring. So I just put a picture down and a pump, two pumpkins. They're both from Walmart, they're 98 cents. In that picture I actually did paint, it's of a random white dog playing in some leaves and being super artsy. So I just think it looks makes this area look a little less blue and a little more like the warmer tone colors. So yeah. Here I just wanted to dress up my desk a little bit, so I took away the blue placemat and replaced that with a fall looking placemat. Um, so it's just got the warmer tones and some fruits and stuff on it. Then I switched out my wallets. This one's more of a winter wallet and this one is a fall wallet. It's more brown. Um, this is actually DIY and it was hard to show on camera so I'm just going to explain it. All you need is a basket or a little jar and pretty much you just need to cut out leaves. Um, you can look at a picture of them, and I used orange construction paper, and I just kind of stuffed the bottom of the basket with some cotton balls, put a piece of orange paper over it, and then layered my leaves on top. You're only going to see the ones in the front, so it doesn't matter too much. It just looks really cute and definitely dresses up the room. Put that up on a shelf, and you can see it's next to this little mason jar, which is actually a maple syrup jar, so that's why it has leaves on it. And I'm kind of crazy, so I was like, I'll keep the wrapper on. It has leaves, and it's all about fall. And then I just put glue on the inside of the jar, and I put glitter in, and I sh put the lid on, shook it up, and then yeah, you can just see the glitter, and it's red and yellow, and a little bit of orange. And I just think it looks cute, and definitely looks like fall beads like I did in your jar in case the glitter didn't go all the way around or you just want to add a little extra something and so these are fall color beads as well and this would look really nice held up in the light because you know you kind of see the glitter or if you just want to put it on a shelf that's totally fine. So this is a chalkboard um, message board that I got from Target for like three dollars and I was just going over the letters and it says welcome autumn on it you can write anything you want as long as there's enough you know slates to fill up your message and it's just a nice message towards autumn. Now this doesn't really matter but sometimes if you just replace your tissue box with one that more looks a little more like fall like that one Kleenex makes really cute packages for them so yeah. For this DIY, we're kind of making a leaf print except opposite, so we're going to be painting over the leaves. So first step would be get a white piece of paper, get some paint, and then go outside and find some leaves. And um, you don't have to buy many because you can double up on them and move them around once you've painted around them. So what you're going to do is mix yellow, get some yellow, red, and white paint. Maybe you don't really have to, I didn't actually even use the white. And then mix it into an orange so you have three different colors and then paint over the leaves. Don't go under them because that would be defeating the purpose of making it. Um, because yeah, you're just going to start painting it like I'm doing different colors and just making it really colorful and a lot of warm tones so it looks like leaves are falling and it's going to turn out really cool, I promise. Okay, so once you're done painting your whole entire paper, you're going to remove the leaves. Um, I put tape on mine so they would stay, so just remove the tape carefully so you don't rip the paper under it. And if you do, you can always put some tacky glue or clear glue on it so it just kind of dries to smooth finish. Um, and I doubled up on one leaf, you could see I moved it, and it turned out really cool. DIYs, we're gonna hang pictures of autumn related things. We're gonna print them off of our computer and hang them up on a ribbon. So you're gonna need some paper clips or um, a clothes hanger and some ribbon and then my paper clips are little hangers but they work the same. Okay so then once you have your pictures printed out, I did a lot on a couple pages just so you know save paper, um, you're just going to start cutting them out and you can make it so you can have white borders but you just have to spread them out a little bit if you wanted to do that or you could just group them all together. I thought that was fine especially since this is going to be kind of a one season thing. Uh, but you're still going to want it to look nice, so just carefully cut all your pictures out. Okay, so once you've cut out all your pictures, just lay them out and make sure there's no loose ends, and then you're going to start with the paper clips. 
this part should be pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to take your paper clip, and if you have can find cool hanger ones like these, uh, you can probably get them at any dollar store or so school supply store. Um, then you could just hang them, or you just have to clip it to the ribbon. Um, so yeah, I just did that for all my pictures, and then I hung it up. Okay, so I actually found it easier to hang the string and then hang your pictures on. So trying to do it all together, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, that's just what I was doing. And we're going to ignore my outfit right now because I don't really know how to explain that to you. Yeah. Okay, so this is the final thing. And yeah, there's some ratchet tape because it was a little heavy with the hangers and pictures on it. So I just put a little bit of tape. You cannot see it from far away just since we're so up close you could. Um, but I still think it looks Finally, I just added a couple decorations around my room. You can find these at the dollar spot from Target. And I also added some candles from Bath & Body Works. But that was $3 at Target the wreath. And the Happy Halloween sign was only one. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and don't forget to subscribe.